Hey guys, it's... What am I throwing? No, I did that the last vlog. Hey guys, it's Stuart. Welcome back to the vlog. So this is 29 life lessons from a 29 year old who has lived, failed and done everything in between in regards to his little life. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, press all those buttons, it really helps. Thank you very much in advance. If you haven't liked, comment or subscribed, please do it. Just do it. We're already here. The buttons are right there. While we're doing this, we're also going to do a TikTok live. Boom. I don't know who sent me this, but thank you. Thank you very, very much. Before any of you say anything, it's our bathrobe. But it's definitely given me Professor Snape vibes. I nearly fell off my seat. My actual seat is broken. The arse is too big. Like it's broken my seat, which is clearly covered in paint from when I was painting. Look at the capage. Capage, is that a word? Capage is now a word. So guys, okay. Besides being on a TikTok live right now while I'm trying to do my shelves, what we are learning is um, how I messed up in life. Here are 29 things that I think I've learned over my 29 years of existing and failing hard, falling flat on my face. And <laughs> here's the first comment. One, you don't have everything figured out and you never will. Here's the funny thing about my notes, okay? It goes from one to 16 to 2, to 15, to 3, to 19, to 22, to 4, because I left gaps in between. Because I was thinking, okay, of importance. It's, it, it's ridiculous the way I take notes. So, number two. The real world sucks. It sucks balls and it sucks ass. We deserve everything we want in life, but at the same time, we deserve nothing if we are unwilling to work effing working and putting your blood, sweat and tears into what you want to achieve. Number three, you don't have many friends and that is okay. A lot of the time in life, especially when we're younger, going from the ages of let's say 15 to 25, we want to have these massive amounts of friends around us. We think if we have a massive circle, it gives us validation. And it comes back to why we're doing this also at 2 a.m. Relationships are hard and they make you crazy. A relationship is work. It's a lot of hard work and if you're not willing to put in the work, then you need to realize that maybe you're not right for that person and they're not right for you. Be alone with yourself. Be alone with yourself and your thoughts. Okay, here's a tough one for number six, and I'm gonna give this to ye. I'm gonna give this to TikTok. Don't be a fucking number. Don't be a freaking number. Excuse my profanity. Don't be a number. In terms of your work life, wherever you are, if you think at any point in time that they just see you as a number, get out. You are not being valued in your company, in your environment. Holy crap, do I really want, yeah, I'm going to. Cut people off. Cut people off. Like the loneliest person in a room. Every time you're around them, cut them off. There are two types of relationships. The one we have in our head and the one that we have in reality. Be careful with that. Here, here's a good one. College isn't for everyone. Here's the next one. Life never gets easier. Life doesn't get easier no matter how much we put in. We get stronger. You'll find it interesting and you'll like it. You are going to be the bad guy and you are going to be the villain in someone's narrative. But here's the thing. No one is inherently a bad person. We for some reason, consider our actions as justified. Here, here's an interesting one that I really want to tell people. Um, I don't know what I can say for this one on a live. I know I can say for this. I'm not sure what I can say for this. Sex. Have a lot of intimate relationships. Realize the difference between having responsibilities and having been stuck in a situation 
that you are unwilling to move from. You can have responsibilities and still try and work towards a goal of being happy. Okay, this goes back to having a lot of sex. Of, or know the difference between intimate and sensual relationships. That's all I'm gonna say. Love your flaws. Accept the past and move the hell on. That is a really, really tough pill, especially for a lot of us to swallow. Accept the past. And this is taking back empowerment within ourselves. And when I say accept the past, I mean accept everything. Try new things. Go for it. If you don't like it, fine. You can say you've tried it. <laughs> I have in big capital letters, what is the worst that can happen? Success and fulfillment is within you. Fame and achievement is from other people. If you feel successful in yourself, if you feel fulfillment in yourself, you've won. Do you get me? I can't even read my own writing. It might, my, my Dacious. Oh, <laughs> oh, I get it. Turn your phone off for a while. Take yourself away from all this. Hi, social media. Hey, social media. If this all went away, what would you be left with? Think about that. You deserve everything you want in life. And you deserve sweet feck all. I can say fact, I'm pretty sure I can say that word. You deserve everything you want in life if you are willing to put in the blood, sweat, and tears for it. Here's, here's a nice one though, like we're coming back to nice ones. Find your passion, never let it go. I don't, I don't care if you believe or don't believe in like a higher power and entity, if I can use the word God. You are here for a reason. Find that reason. Spend your whole life trying to find that reason. I don't care if you're 57 and then you find your reason. Find it. Grab it and hold that mother f effer by the horns. Hey, hey, I didn't swear that time. And never let go. Okay? Do you see that a lot of my life truths come back to trying to find your way, trying to find your passion, find your why, and just going towards that constantly, trying to find what makes you happy and staying on that path? Did you notice that? Have multiple sources of income, have extra forms of revenue. Your mental health comes above. Remember that your mental health is your self-wealth. Well, hey, I like that. I'm, someone's probably come up with that already. Your health is your wealth. Ah, oh, crap, I know I've heard that before. Says the guy who just took a, like a two week mental health break. We're going back to finances. Save money. We must be nearly there now. I'm pretty sure we are. We are two more, two more. Be okay with your views and your opinions not being understood or accepted. And that includes you. Here is 29. 29 years of 29 life lessons that I wish I knew before I failed. I succeeded. I fell flat on my face. I experienced things. Just, I wish someone told me. Let's try this again now, Sonny, because you stopped recording and you're not allowed to be doing that to me. You're going to cease. You're going to die. Shuffle off this mortal coil. You're, why are you letting yourself be held back from doing what you want to do? And then after that point in time, people are not going to remember you. So you better make sure that you are doing everything you can right now to make sure that you live one hell of a season. And we are so worried about tomorrow and what happened in our past. Don't be. Accept, move on, look forward and live a life that you are going to be fulfilled by. Don't waste the only existence you are ever gonna have, okay? Um, I don't know. This is like my eighth vlog where I'm asking Monster, hey, um, sponsor me? <laughs> I, I don't know. I'd love to be sponsored or, you know, have any kind of affiliate with Monster. Not that I'm addicted. Thank you for joining me for this. 29 life lessons. I hope one of them resonates with you, if not multiple. If you haven't already, please.
is just press all the buttons comment you don't know how much it actually helps the algorithm so thank you very much for being here thank you very much for being here and we will see you in the next one take care of yourself okay let's chat soon peace am i throwing another pokeball pikachu go i want an aesthetic caitlin